Hey everybody, I'm Sammy and I'm here today at Kids Inc. And I am just beyond thrilled to be able to talk to Troy Cummings today. Hi, Troy. Hi, Sammy. How are you? I'm so good. It's great to finally meet you. I know. It's been like a few years. It has. We've just been circling each other. I know. Like birds in the night. Yes. Or something. <laughs> okay, so first of all, I always ask folks about your connection to Indiana. Can you tell us a little bit about your connection to Indiana? Yeah, I was born in Indiana. I've lived here my whole life. Amazing! Yeah. So that's easy. Yep, I live in Greencastle now. Nice. Okay, so to set the scene, we're at Kids Inc. It's the first Sunday in December, and we're here to talk about your new book. It's called Auto the Ornament. Can you show us the book? Sure. Here it is. Yeah. This is Out of the oh. Ornament. Here's the cover, and it's sparkly. My I first love sparkly that. book. Oh yeah. my gosh, how thrilling is that? Thank you. Oh, I know. Can you tell us a little bit about the book? Yeah, it's about an ornament named Otto, and he's the new ornament. All the all the other ornaments are happy on their tree, and everything is nice and calm. And then Otto shows up, and he pops out, and he's new, and he's shiny, and he thinks he should be on top. Of the Christmas tree. Oh my gosh, I have so much in common with Otto. <laughs> exactly. I'm, you know, I just, I'm not so shiny, but I just feel like I should be at the top of a tree. I'm sort of built for it. So, yeah, totally. You know, but they, they never put me there. No, uh, maybe one day. But does, does Otto get to go to the top? He does not get to go to the top, even though he really wants it. And in fact, he's not very nice to the other ornaments at first. Oh. I know. He talks, he points out things about them that he thinks aren't as good, you know, as, as he is. Uh, so then he goes out of the house and he rolls around town looking for his own tree. To rolls out. around town. I he love does. that. Thank you. <laughs> uh, and he tries out different trees um, and none of them are right for him. And at the end, he kind of realizes that he does get what he wants. He gets to be on the top of this really shiny tree made out of lights. But he's lonely. You know, it's, yeah. he's by himself. And he, he kind of realizes then that um, maybe it doesn't really matter if you're on top of the tree. It's more important to be surrounded by your friends and your family. I love that. What a great book for the season that we're in. Thank you. I love that. Okay. So, Troy, a um, couple other questions. First of all, how many books have you had published? This is um, number 66. I know. I feel the same way. I did not know that. I, I thought I was familiar with your body of work, but <laughs> 66. I can't believe it. Okay. So, you've got Notebook of Doom. You've got some picture books. What else? Um, there's a Notebook of Doom, which is a 13-book series, and the follow-up series called The Binder of Doom. Right. Uh, and then most of the rest are picture books. I think they're all picture books. There's some board, little board books, and then um, the rest are all picture That's books. That's amazing. All right, and you are the author and the illustrator of most of your work. Is that right? I've illustrated a few books that other people have written, but okay. most of them I write and illustrate. Okay, and which one do you like better? Do you like the writing part or the drawing part? Oh, that's a hard question. So really, I, I always ask hard questions. Uh, you put me on the spot. <laughs> so I like to think they're both two parts of the same job. Because my job is to build a story, and I have two toolboxes. I have the words and the pictures. So to me, it's like a puzzle to figure out when to use words and when to use pictures and how to get them to work together. Having said that, I think I like the drawing part better. Mm. Writing is hard for me, and I have to revise again and again. And sometimes yeah. I think, I can't do this. Do you ever feel that way? Yes, I do. Absolutely. You know, when I interview people, I get to kind of clean stuff up later in the editing. Mm. And, you know, sometimes you do an edit and then you're like, oh, yes. that didn't work. And then you have to go back and try again. I know, but doing it again and trying again and again, that's how you learn, right? You get better every time. So making mistakes, this is something I'm learning from students when I speak at grade schools. Making mistakes is good because it means you're learning. It means you're trying something new, right? I love that. I think that's so fantastic. Is there anything else you want to share with us? Do you have anything else coming out? Or I have a book uh, called Can I Be Your Dog about this dog named Arfie looking for a home. And there's several more Arfie books. And now I'm doing these Arfie reader books, uh, little comics for people learning to read about Arfie. So the newest one is called Arfie and the Stinky Smell. Oh, that's a great title. He smells something yeah. really bad and he's going around town and he loves that bad smell and he's trying to figure out what it is. And it's not a garbage can and it's not a dead fish and it's not a skunk. Can you guess what the bad smell is at the mm. end of the book? Is it a dead body? It's No, it's not a dead body. <laughs> it's Arfie. He has to take a bath at the end of the book. That's fantastic. Yeah. Oh, I love it. Well, Troy, you're a delight, and this has been so much fun. Thank you so much for talking with me today. Yeah, thank you, Sammy. This was really fun. I thank loved you. it. Okay. Hey, everybody. This was Sammy the Interviewing Toucan, reminding you to read local. So long, everybody. Bye. Bye.